It's been such a journey to get here. I know for, for both of you to, to think about the people who aren't here right now and the voids that they create in your life. And then I think about everybody I see in this room and everybody's contributing to that to pick you up and to fill those voids and carry you on through the rest of your life. So I, I would just like to say thank you to everybody out there who's helped the two of them through all of this. I really appreciate it. Remember the first day that we met? Well, I hope so because I promise you City Tap in downtown Cleveland does. I knew the first moment I saw you, you were meant to be together for all of our days. You have become my lover, my companion, and my best friend. There's no one else I'd want to build a life with. I get to have you by my side as my love and my wife. I have never met anyone in my entire life that I can be authentic 100% of the time with. I never have to hide any part of myself from you because I know that you love and understand me and it is truly beautiful. Here we are three years later and it feels like I've known you forever. The two of us have experienced so much in our lives, including loss, more than most people our age will ever have to go through. Many people don't know this, but after my mom passed and the years that followed, I truly thought that I was not destined to be happy, that it just wasn't in the cards for me, and that I was just one of those people that moved through life surviving, and then I met you. The trope where as like maid of honor and the bride's best friend I'm kind of like losing my best friend a little to a man today <laughs> but I was like that doesn't really work either because I don't feel that way I honestly feel like Drew is a fabulous addition to our friendship <laughs> because if you know Jess I'm sure you know her as one of the most loving and caring and gorgeous humans inside and out. But if you know her for more than five minutes,
So tonight I come before you with a speech, a speech by the title of I Apologize and I Thank You. So to the friends and family of Andrew, I apologize to Andrew. I apologize for not telling him he's my best friend every single day. I apologize for not having a bigger heart and I apologize for not wearing it on my sleeve like he does. I apologize for not pushing us to have one more laugh or drink one more beer. And I apologize for the arguments that have been left on bad terms. I apologize for not listening more in his father's passing. And I apologize for not commending him on the strength that that's brought to his life. I apologize for not fixing his backswing with his seven iron and eight iron and nine iron and fairway woods, you get the point. And I apologize for the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> Nothing specific there, just in general. but I'll give you a slight bit. I, I really think to be happy, you gotta have balance. I think you gotta have balance in your life and you gotta balance your, your needs, your partner's needs, your work, everything, your, your physical health, your mental health, everything has to be in balance. And I'm not sure that happiness is the ultimate goal. I, I, I think it's peace. I think you got to find peace. You got to find a level of contentment, and that will carry you a long way. I love you guys both. <laughs>